It's going really good. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, well, we got a lot to talk about. But first of all, this is a, kind of an odd coincidence. I guess the day that you were hired to, uh, to be a Saturday Night Live cast member, uh, I just, it was soon after, I guess, Lauren Michaels took you to a restaurant yeah. and pretty much told you you were going to be in the cast, which is a big moment. And then I think I met you like 15 <laughs> or 20 minutes later. Yeah. Is that, uh, well, I would say about an hour after I found out I got SNL, mm -hmm. we met. Okay. Um, which for me was pretty sweet. <laughs> Not gonna lie, um, but the cool yeah, thing. Yeah, room is really uh, can't believe that you got to meet me. <laughs> Mine's alone. Yeah. Um, They've been hanging with me for about forty minutes, and I'm like, big deal. <laughs> Seen it. Yeah. Um, well, the cool thing is actually is that I kind of got a picture of that exact moment. This is real, you know, right? Met. This is a real photo. I remember Dead someone. Dead for serious. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> this is. <laughs> yeah. You know what I love about. <laughs> what I love about that photo is we're both acting like asses. Yeah. You're doing that, but that's the that's what I do in every photo, in every, every <laughs> wedding of any of my brothers. I'm always in the background going. <laughs> it's like just I can't do any other face yeah. when someone's taking a photo. It's it's especially sweet for me because it's you can actually see my mind being blown <laughs> on in a still frame. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Now, um, now, of course, this is, you know, I, years ago I wrote on Saturday Night Live and yeah. I remembered the transition from, from, you know, being a guy, you know, trying to get into the business and then work on Saturday Night Live and suddenly I'm meeting huge stars. And this, pff, yeah, yeah, knock it off. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, 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 and I know for, uh, it was this week is Steve Martin and Prince. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Must Steve Martin and Prince. I'm... Yeah, I mean, Steve Martin obviously is like everyone who's in the comedy's hero, so that's just sure. ridiculous. And Prince, yeah. it's, uh... Yeah, I mean, he's right? very, there are right? very few people that you can just say, okay, that's guy's a musical genius, but, but Prince, Yeah, definitely. Prince is absolutely a musical genius. Have, um, have you thought of what you're going to say to Prince or how you're going to interact I with him? I don't really have any specific things to say to Prince, but for many years I've had a prank that I was really dying to play on Prince. <laughs> oh, good move. Let's hear um, it. Here's <laughs> okay. the prank. Uh -huh. Okay, go somewhere where Prince is hanging out, step one. And uh, in introduce yourself around to everyone as King. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then walk up to Prince and go, Prince, what's up? Yeah, King, how's it going? Right. And then put your arm around him and point out the window and go, someday all this will be yours. <laughs> He so, hates it. He yeah. hates it. So, what point does his security stomp you? <laughs> <laughs> probably, right, probably right around when I walk through the door. <laughs> you come in the hey, door. I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, what about uh, doing live television? I, I remembered when I first showed up at, at Saturday Night Live, and I was a writer, but sometimes I get to do something on camera. I just I couldn't get my mind past that it was live. Yeah. That that anything I did would be seen by millions and millions of people at home. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you ever does that freak you out still? Um, it freaked me out at first, but more than anything, it's like just thinking about the fact that it's live. You have crazy impulses. Like I was standing on the side of stage one time, and I was like, I could run and tackle Catherine Zeta Jones right now, <laughs> <laughs> and it would definitely be on television. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, I'd get super fired, but it would probably be worth it to be like, you know, oh, sorry, James Blunt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess I ruined yeah. your song. Fired. Yeah. Right, right. No, not just fired. <laughs> You'd be super fired. Super fired. <laughs> now, uh, you, do, uh, you do many talents. You do impressions. You do, but you don't do the standard impressions. You do sort of atypical impressions. I, I would say they're atypical, sure. I have an impression, uh, one I, I like to do called The Lazy Cannibal. The Lazy Cannibal. Yeah, um, it's, look, I just do it. It's, sure. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> this is The Lazy Cannibal. No, seriously, just come here for a second. <laughs> that, that was it. <laughs> and I want to gnaw on your forehead. Now, speaking of, I guess Jimmy, you, the, one of the people who was instrumental in getting you on Saturday Night Live was Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, absolutely. Jimmy Fallon met you somewhere, is that right? Uh, me and my two writing partners and acting partners, Akiva Schaefer and uh, Yorma Taccone, were like a three-man team. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe you know of The Lonely Island, that's our team. Um, we got a writing job writing on the MTV Movie Awards, and it was this past year when Jimmy hosted. So mm -hmm. we wrote some of the you know, movie spoofs that got made and hung out with him a bunch. And, he, uh, he recommended us to, to like Steve Higgins and Shoemaker. At, and and at you, you hung out with him for a while, and I understand you, 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 have an, you do an impression of Jimmy Fallon? I do an impression of Jimmy, yeah. I mean, I had heard that he did Sandler when he auditioned, so yes. I thought that he'd probably be cool with it. Right. Um, but he's like the nicest dude ever, so I, I don't want to like rip on him or nothing because he helped me out tremendously. Right, this is an <laughs> affectionate impression, It's I'm affectionate, sure. yeah, yeah. Um, the, the impression I did the audition was Jimmy Fallon at a funeral. 
And then this is an impression of Jimmy Fallon at a funeral. Jimmy Fallon at a funeral, and it was sort of like this. It was, uh, <clears throat> hey, hey, what's going on, my man? Oh, man, this funeral's so sad, right? It's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> like that. He's a happy guy. Yeah. He's very happy and enthusiastic. He's the kind of guy you want to have yeah, at a funeral, absolutely. probably. Yeah. You'd feel better afterwards. He cheers up any funeral. Now, you met. <laughs> You mentioned uh, that uh, you did sketches, of course, on the internet with your yeah. group, Channel yeah. 101. Well, Channel 101 is something else. Our group is The Lonely Island, but we got involved with Channel 101, which is this thing created by uh, our friends Dan Harmon and Rob Schraub, which mm -hmm. is in L.A. Uh, monthly, people can make homemade, like, pilots right. of TV shows, five minutes or less, and then the audience votes, and the top five are prime time, and you keep making more. Right. Um, which is pretty sweet for people that, you know, need an outlet. Um, so we started doing it, and we made this one called The Boo, which is, like, do you watch The O.C. at all? Yes, I do, sadly. I know... I, I, actually, this is not a joke. Recently, someone handed me, like, a, 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 a quiz about The O.C., and uh -huh. I got nine out of ten questions. <laughs> and which and one then I was ashamed. <laughs> yeah, what'd you miss? I forget. Like, I forgot the name of somebody's pet horse, you know? Pet horse. <laughs> Mr. Oates. Captain Oates. <laughs> Captain Oates. <laughs> How dare you show me up on my own show? <laughs> You're so out of time right now. You're super out of time. Yeah. Uh, I just kind of wanted to prove that I also really like the OC. <laughs> okay. So you, uh, so you, uh, you did a parody sort of of the OC. Called, it was about Malibu. Yeah, it was called the Boo. The Boo. Um, and it's a lot like the OC, except for that the main character is like a bad boy who moved into the neighborhood, but he's also a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, and, you know, it's, that's really frowned upon in Malibu, apparently, so it's like... <laughs> it's all about yeah. his secret. It's like you're from Chino. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, Ninja, huh? It's basically like being from Chino, except, yeah. like, way more covert. Right, right. <laughs> and, like, good with throwing stars, etc. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ninja junk. Yeah. Ninja stuff. Yeah. Well, check it out. Check out all that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, do you still do work for them? Do you still do work for Channel 101, or is it all uh, no, just for Saturday Night Live? But, but my two guys that we all work together, they got hired as writers on SNL, so we are still working together and doing stuff together, which is awesome. Yeah. yeah. The internet, I think it's, I mean, all kidding aside, I think it's great that talented people who otherwise might not get a chance to audition for a show like Saturday Night Live can do stuff on the web. Norm Michaels, and, you know, or someone there will see it, and the next thing you know, you're writing stuff for national television. Yeah. It's great. It's definitely, it's definitely something that's happening more and more, too, which is it's exciting, for sure. All right. Well, yeah. check out Star Night Live this Saturday with host Steve Martin, musical guest Prince, and uh, Andy, thanks for coming Thank by. So yeah, much, good man. luck to you. Andy Samberg will be right back. Broken social scene. We're good. Stick around.